Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Medical Minion and I'm back with, yeah, you're right, homeostasis part 3 video. I know it's getting longer and longer, but we have to study the topic fully, so let's get started. As you all know, homeostasis is an ability of living system to maintain a uniform internal environment and yeah, it's correct, ECF, that is excess cell of fluid, to allow the normal functioning of our body. To study how this homeostasis mechanism work, we need to look into the components of homeostatic mechanism. As you all know, homeostatic system will operate only and only when there is deviation. And this deviation is created by the stimulus. For example, when we look in the example of temperature regulation, the change in the environment, whether it is cool or hot, brings change in our body's ECF and operates homeostatic mechanism. So stimulus is something that results in change within the system involving variables. So variables can be anything that causes change in the ECF, maybe it's maybe the concentration or anything else. So deviation in the variable initiates the homeostatic mechanism. Now we have deviation and now we need something that sends this change and here we have the second component that is sensor or receptors. So sensor and receptor sense the change in the body system and inform the control unit. So control unit is our third component of homeostatic system. The control unit tallies the change value to its normal value. As you all know, life is possible within a short range of values. We call it as physiological limits or set limits. Beyond these limits, life is not possible. Four component that is effectors. Now effectors can be muscle, organ or gland or something similar structures that are activated as a result of signal from the control unit. Response of effector feedback to influence magnitude of stimulus and returning the variable back to normal and giving us a life. So these are the four components of homeostatic mechanism that help us to keep the normal functioning of body and keeping us alive. So can you recall with me what are the different components in homeostatic mechanism? Yeah, it's right. The first one is stimulus. The second is sensor or receptor. The third is the control unit and fourth are effectors. Great job. So this was all for today's video and hope you like it. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and do follow me on Instagram at the rate medical meaning. Link are in description. Go check it out. Thank you for watching.